In this video, I'll show you how to make an interactive map inside of Jupiter. And the cool thing is that it only takes a couple lines of code to make it. So let's get started. So first we need to import the necessary libraries. First one I'm going to do is GeoPandas. So I say import GeoPandas as GPD. The next one is called Folium. And I do that by saying import Folium. And next is called Map Classify. And then finally it's Matplotlib. So I say from Matplotlib import PyPlot as PLT. And if you run that, it'll say that all the libraries were imported successfully. All right, we're already almost done. Only a couple minutes left and we'll get our final map. So now I'm gonna load up the data by creating a new cell and saying file is equal to gpd.read file. And what this method does is that it takes in a file that you specify. And you gotta make sure that it's a .shp file type or else you're gonna get an error. And the data set that I'm gonna use contains information like the crime, health, and population stats in Chicago in 2014. So I put in the link to that data set in the description below. You can check that out if you want. Okay, so now I put in the file name inside the method and I'm just gonna run it now and it worked. So I'm gonna create a new cell and I wanna take a look at it. So I'm gonna say file.head and this method is gonna show me the first five rows inside of this data frame. So I run that, then it's going to show me all the columns. And if I scroll all the way down to the last column, you're going to notice the column that says geometry. And it has a bunch of polygons in it. And this is necessary because Python is going to use this coordinate information to display all the data as a map. Anyways, we only have one line of code left. So I'm going to create a new cell and call it m is equal to file.explorer. And this method basically automatically shows an interactive map. And it's cool because GeoPandas lets you do this all in one line of code. And inside the parentheses, I'm gonna put in the column that I wanna display. And you could choose any column you want, but I'm just gonna show the property crimes in Chicago because that's what I'm interested in. So I'm gonna say there's a column called property underscore C. And then if I wanna display it, I run that. And then it's pretty cool. We got a nice map. We could move it around. We could zoom in, zoom out. And if I scroll up a bit, it shows me this little legend over here or some color scale. And if the if it's more yellow, then there's more property crimes in that area. So just by looking at this, I get like a quick idea of which areas have more property crime in Chicago. So yeah, that's basically all I got for this video. You can see how easy it is with GeoPandas to create this nice map, but there's actually one problem. If you hover over one of the polygons like this one, you'll see that it shows you a ton of information because there's so many other columns in this data frame and it gets pretty overwhelming. So I'm gonna remove some of the columns in the data frame to make it cleaner in another video.